Hello, everybody. Um, it is 3 a.m., the witching hour. I, um, I was actually asleep on this couch last night. I have six herniated discs. I had this table marble a lot closer, and I, I rolled off it, fell, hit my back right where I have six, right where the herniated disc are, right, right actually here on the corner, and then hit my kidney, which is also a bad kidney, has a mass on it, and went right on down, you can see, and plopped on the floor, so, uh, I'm awake late, so I figured I'd make a video. I actually already made this toy uh, uh, haul video earlier, and for some reason, it came in upside down, and it would not uh, flip back. I hope this doesn't happen again. So here we go. We got Star Wars. We got the Tuscan Raider. I was able to trade uh, my local uh, toy federation uh ryan chad good guys um helped me out and uh gave me a tray didn't get a birthday present from but but you know i got a trade uh earlier in the month um i got this snow trooper the original snow trooper i wanted it so bad um you know, I, I'm making a trooper wall, uh, and then that's that was eight ninety nine or like seven ninety nine. I think it was eight eight ninety eight. What I do is I find all these guys on Amazon, and then I put them in my cart, and I check my cart every day, and I wait for them to drop. And as soon as they drop, boom, <laughs> I got Krennic for seven ninety six. And, you know, I'll have Death Troopers next to him on the wall. And, you know, that's why, I, you know, I prefer Pristine. And they sent it with no packaging. It kind of pissed me off. But I've got uh, Lando. I'm so happy to have Lando finally. I really think, in my own opinion, because I've seen it outside of the box, um, they should not have used PVC for escape. I get it, it makes it shine more and everything and hang, hang, but they could, I mean, if they can make Darth Vader's cape, which the 40th anniversary, which is absolutely huge, and you can fold it, I mean, it's twice the size of Batman's cape. They could have done that. That's a pretty good, that's a very good mold of Billy D. Oh, I'm so happy to have him. This is a Star Wars Elite from the Disney Store. If you haven't gone there yet, check them out. They're all die-cast, and they're really nice. And guess what? They're $5.99 each. I had a $5 coupon. Um, so once again, I scored another deal on that. Paid, uh, paid like $2 because of tax and shipping. Two, two fifty dollars something like that. They're fully uh, articulated. They come with a base to stand on. Uh, the premium ones are like 11 inches. They only have Kylo Ren, Krennic, the two best ones, I think, actually, aside from Vader, um, and Jin Urso right now. They're 11 inches, and they are great. And guess what? how much they are? $7.99. And every once in a while, they put them on sale for even more. So keep your eye on that. I got these guys. And I'm going to do an unboxing on them. Um, I got the Imperial Star Destroyer. Um, I hadn't seen it. And, you know, I'd seen a ton of those flat copycat ones that the First Order used. As in, then I've got the, uh, this is the TIE Advanced X-1 prototype that Vader had the Grand Inquisitor use. Which is funny because... It's obvious that Vader was like, you know what, I'm going to have this ship, but I'm going to make sure this guy tested out first. Would have been funny if it blew up. Uh, I've got a Rebel Trooper space mission. Uh, the only reason I have him is I got the uh, 
the Black Series Gree, Commander Gree, and I was going to flip him. I, I have a bill to pay, uh, uh, Dr. Bill, and I was going to flip him, and I needed free shipping, and he was exactly the amount to get it to free shipping. So essentially, I saved $2 and paid like $2 for him or something. Um, this I'm going to do an opening video tonight, too. Why not? Uh, this is awesome, isn't it? And this, of course, is... This is... They say it's just Deluxe Beast Rider. But it's actually Sharku and the Ward Rider. He's the one who took uh, Aragorn off the ledge. And uh, I think he even shows him holding... Man, those guys, those Toy Biz guys did not mess around. So look look forward to that. And then, once again, Toy Biz, not messing around. I got uh, Gorgoth, the cap, uh, Captain, Commander, basically of all the armies that attacked uh, uh, Gondor, but they call him the Moranin or Commander. I have him with the sword, uh, but he also comes with his spear. If I ever find the the uh, sca the the playing ranger, um, I think they only created it for this purpose to have him being in a position of being stabbed. I'll switch out the and just have him laying there being stabbed by him. Because and then I put up a little ow, my teeth hurt, kind of thing. But look at the detail. I mean, the detail is amazing. The sword. And the hand, I'm not going to do it right now, but the hand, the, the thumb moves in, the forefinger moves in, and the three fingers there move, to, they move individually into, into place uh, to squeeze it to how you want him to hold and grasp things. And then his wrist moves in and out as far as you could want. And so does his elbow. It's a double jointed. And this is this was made in 2003. That just amazes me. The detail on that sucker. And then I've got Gandalf. And uh, now, when I first got him, I opened it up and the whole room started to smell like cat piss. And... <laughs> And uh, that was freaking me out, but now it does, now it's better. Um, so he has a staff. I'm gonna have to boil it to get it straightened out, um, but I don't want it boiled too much because it has electronics in it that light up. But uh, right now he doesn't have the uh, he doesn't have the uh, he needs a battery. I'm sorry, it is 3 a.m. Um, and of course, you can see Ian McKellen's reflection, but he's very hard to pose. But you can see they did a great job. That's Ian McKellen. And this is the you shall not pass scene. Um, you can take the, oh, don't do it, don't fall. Come on, man. Let me just put your hat on you. Just slightly. Come on. And he's down. <sighs> he is frustrated. I mean, he's even got a cane. Well, that shows you how flexible his hand is, at least. You shall not pass because I'm on the floor. <laughs> Do a quick review of him. He's frustrating, but who cares? You got to have him. Uh, let's see. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm going to deal with that later. This isn't a review of Gandalf. I already did one. All right. The PVC comes off, and then you can have a, you can have the the you know the cape, but you can have him without the cape. He has Anduril, or not Anduril. Um, oh boy, it's late at night. How could I forget it? Oh, someone help me out with his sword name, Glandrin. And then of course he has his, and this is the Balrog fight, you know, stance. And then he has a hidden button, which is which truly is hidden. And you do, and even when you take the the outer cape off, and it raises his his staff up, and um, 
you know, I can move the elbow into a different position to make it go up more and then that that top crystal lights up so we'll see with that I'll do another video on him at another time all right so I'm gonna get to the openings after I put these guys up and so I'll hopefully this recorded properly this time I would hate to do another do this all over again so thank you very much now remember this was over the whole month most of it at the beginning of the month and uh, by the way got these for 250 each at Walmart that's how much they're selling them for yet they've raised the prices on the uh, 3.75 inch figures that they couldn't sell back to regular price same thing with the six inch they're complete idiots they couldn't sell them for five dollars and for nine dollars so now they marked them back up to twelve dollars for the 3.75 and 18 or 19 for the regular ones dumbasses okay so i hope you enjoyed this and i appreciate your time comment subscribe please um, check out my Facebook page. Um, that's where I put a lot of stuff. Uh, mainly, mainly there. It's just going to be, uh, you know, I might put on my YouTube channel just uh, blogs and vlogs and things like that. But um, on my Facebook page, mostly it's going to be just this kind of stuff. Although I did one the other day that I thought was really important and put it on all that. So I got a Darth Vader mug for my birthday. That's pretty cool. And uh, I've had this for a long time from a friend, Crystal, who sent me that too. Like, I, like I'm gonna take it out of the plastic. Yeah, right. I think it's staying there forever. All right, so next I get to do the fun part of Unpackaging these, yes. You know what I'm starting with. Well, I'll start small, work my way up. All right, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I really do. Makes me feel like, you know, you're not alone. You're, you're sharing it with other people that are into it, too. Thank you.